guys, it's Camilla here and we're back with another video. But right now we're going to be reading some Christmas books. I'm doing this because I'm currently reading a Christmas book, so I thought it would be the perfect time to do that. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the books that I'm going to read, hopefully this week. I'm going to start with the first one. Right now I'm reading Big Nick Energy. And yes... It is. It is what you think it is. Right, Morgan Elizabeth. This one is like in the stage with Tis the Season for Revenge. This is in that whole Season of Revenge series. So Tis the Season, Tis the Season for Revenge, Cruel Summer, and The Fall of Bradley Reed. Reed. So I am, let me tell you guys how far I'm into um, Big Nick Energy. I'm 27% in. I'm going to be reading while I'm editing and stuff tonight. So hopefully, hopefully everything feels good. And that's that. And also a conditioner, which is not the impression that I got at all. I always thought it was a style cream. Let me... It smells really good. It's like conditioner consistency. This is a big bottle, by the way. Like, this, this should last me. <sighs> Good morning. I just finished reading Big Nick Energy by Morgan Elizabeth, and let me tell you, it was so cute and cheesy and exactly what I needed. So, I'm very happy about that. My arm hurt, bro. Um, so now I'm probably not gonna read a Christmas book immediately just because I I don't have the energy for that. I think I'm going to read my Xmas Emergency next. I don't think I'm going to read my Santa suit right now just because it's not calling my name. So, yeah. So, I'm going to read a few chapters of the next Christmas book that we're reading. I, I'm really in the Christmas spirit right now because we're almost in December. As soon as December hits, I'm going to get depressed. I'm telling you right now. So, we're going to read my, my Xmas Emergency. I'm forgetting who wrote it. By Jennifer Peel. So... finished reading the Xmas emergency this morning um and let me tell you it was mad cute like I actually really liked it at first I was like Ugh, I, I don't know how I'm feeling about this it's kind of annoying but then it got good it got good I got got and now I don't know if I'm gonna read another book by Jennifer Peel or I'm gonna read my book that I have here but I also have another Christmas book that I showed you guys my winter TBR yeah, I think I'm going to read this one because I'm already seeing something. Single dad, town man, manager. Like, I'm already seeing this is going to eat it up. These are really going to eat the girls up. So, hopefully I'll be done with this today so I can be done with this video and get out of the contact. I'm, like, all aesthetic now that I have, like, my aesthetic mason jar glass thing. Interesting.
my storage is almost full so give me one second anyway so i finished reading the christmas fix by lucy score it was the best book of this vlog amazing chef's kiss amazing i loved it honestly it was just it was a plot i feel like the other books didn't really have that much plot in it but this one it did it it ate it up i'm done thank you so much for having me do you guys notice something different yes i am a professional vlogger and now i have a light that i can tone up and tone down i am blind we could change it to be a white light or really orange i also have uh what's it called i also have sheets like i can change the color filter the color out so i can make it purple red yellow blue green i can even mix the colors and i also like there's a shadow box in front of it so we can make it a stronger light so um it's wrap up time i finished reading three holiday books in about four three days so i'll start in order i started off with big nick energy by morgan elizabeth um and basically this book is about a single mother and a single father the single mother shay goes on a date right after her divorce with connor and connor has his dad named nick so um in this one like they go on one date and they realize like oh like this is not gonna work out for us we're really just work as friends and then a few years later connor invites shay to thanksgiving at his father's christmas tree farm where they invite all of the misfits and the people who don't really have a place to go like connor's friends the people that work on the farm and such, such on and so forth so that's where nick and shay meet nick is like a 40 year old single dad had his kid super young so he's kind of like in this limbo stage where it's like oh like do i want to go into another relationship or whatever he doesn't really think too much about it he just focuses on work a lot and then shay just came out of the abusive relationship about two years ago she's struggling with her kids she feels like she needs to control everything she is a control freak and so nick is talking to her two daughters uh harper and someone else i forgot what the daughter's names were and he's telling them about the elf on the shelf and she's like looking at him like Don't. and he just doesn't get it and um so she's over here really mad because now she added another stressor and then he realized like oh i just fucked up so every night for the rest of until christmas um nick goes over to her house and moves the, sh the elf and they start talking and liking each other and it was honestly such a cute book i feel like in some sections it really dragged out i think for all of these books like i really wanted something that was a full book and not like a novella because i feel like any christmas book that i've read before they're all really small and like the plot really does snap like they see each other they're in love they have kids and like that's it so i really wanted a longer book for all of these books so i can really recommend some good christmas books to you guys this one's actually really really fun i just feel like since i haven't read a christmas book that didn't really that didn't drag on didn't have really much of a plot i feel like this one was just a little too much so there were sections where i just skipped over um and i just didn't care too much about it and also shay as a character was pretty annoying to me and then i was watching a video about this girl harper heather she read big nick energy and she said that she read the comments and it was like a lot of people were saying that he kind of pushed her weight pushed his like completely took over and i get that but i also don't get that because like shay also was like really pushing him back like i think really they softened up to each other he learned how to push back and be like oh shit i fucked up i get that like whatever and she was like oh like maybe i do need some help you know and i love that they were pretty mature um and honestly i didn't find like the i didn't find the connor and shay thing like weird like the dating that one date um because they never really dated what i did find weird was like connor 24 year old would like ask to take care of the kids because me as an 18 year old i know that's like a gap but i just wouldn't i wouldn't i know how kids are i wouldn't do that next i read the xmas emergency by jennifer peel i believe i'll put everything on the screen um because this was all on my kindle and um that one that one i would like i didn't like as much as the um big nick energy i just felt like 
they hated each other so much and he did her wrong so i pretty much just skipped over most of the stuff because like why you know like why wrong side of the of the river what the fuck do you mean y'all are all from the same town like it's a small town like what, what are you talking about anyway so in this book we have give me a minute because i really don't remember the names of the two okay so we have Callista and we have Tristan a few years back a few years back 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 when she was 18 and he was like I don't know the age gap I don't really get it but when she was 18 I know she was 18 they were in a relationship and so was Tristan's brother and Callista's sister and they ended up getting married and having a kid together really really young now we're in the present right and Tristan's brother and Callista's sister's husband dies from lung cancer. We find out this dude was an asshole, an a-hole, every word of an asshole. And he cheated on Callista's sister and, like, wasn't a great father and stuff. And neither is Callista's sister either, but <laughs> let's not talk about that because I honestly want her sister's book. But we find this out and we find out that Callista and Tristan are very, like, hands-on uncles and aunts, like, basically mom and dad, because the mom and dad are never there, and, but they're, they don't look at each, like, Callista has this thing, like, when he broke up with her, it was, like, really bad, not gonna spoil it, he said some shit that he should never said, wouldn't be able to tell me, I would have slapped his face before that, never mind. So Calissa doesn't look at Tristan. They don't make eye contact for years. She goes to Quinn, and this is their niece. And she's like a mom figure to Quinn. But the dad dies. Quinn's dad dies. Uh, Tristan's brother. And Quinn kind of has this idea, like, for Christmas, I want my uncle and my aunt to get together. And she basically pushes them into having, like, a Hallmark Christmas to get them together. And we just see them have this Hallmark Christmas, see things together, kind of get over what happened in the past. And honestly, at some point, it gets cute. And I really enjoyed it, but I just thought, like... He just sucked up too much. It kind of reminds me of like Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Like when I read that book, I just knew that in real life, as a, if a dude did that to me, if a dude did that to me, he would never be in my life ever again. So I just couldn't, I couldn't cross over what he did to her. So yeah. And then the last book I read, which I actually have a physical copy of and it's one of my newer Christmas books, is The Christmas Fix by Lucy Score. I did say that this came out this year in my last vlog. It did not. This is an old book. So this book focuses on this reality TV star slash like renovator, interior designer girl. Her name is Kat. And then we have this single dad town, it says manager, but it's giving mayor, uh, Noah. And he's really grumpy. He, this town that they are in, which is called Mary, fucking cutest shit ever. It's called Mary, goes through this really traumatic, um, weather storm kind of hurricane type thing it was hurricane veronica and i think it was veronica something like that and she goes in she hears about this because she a few years back about two years back actually helped one of the families that was really struggling create a really good house for them and she like paid this she's like a really generous person and but while she was there, she, as generous as she is, she parties hard. So she got drunk, and this guy started touching her, and she punched him in the face. Girl boss energy. I loved her. Let me tell you, Kat, one of my favorite characters I read in this vlog. And basically, Noah has this really bad misconception of TV stars and people who are always on camera. And, like, people who are very pretty, I feel like. That's one of the things that really, I had to go through that part where it's like, so you think ugly people are stupid? Like, you think pretty people are stupid and ugly people are smart. Like, that's what I'm not getting here. Like, what does that make sense? Does it make sense? But anyways, he has this really bad misconception of Kat. And so, this hurricane happens. She goes in. He doesn't know this. She goes in the day after. And she starts pulling people out from their flooded homes. It's really helping out. She saved his life. I am spoiling here. I'm so sorry. But... Then, like, he, she comes back a few weeks later and she's like, oh, like, I want to help you, this town be rebuilt because everything in this town is ruined. This is a very, like, hallmark -y town. Like, there's this big Christmas festival and that really is what supports the town for most of the year. So, when the town is ruined, like, a few days before Thanksgiving and everything's fucked up, so everything's fucked up, she comes in, she says, I need... To do this i'm gonna fix it up for you but 
we're going to need to bring cameras in because the production company is what's going to help us pay for all of this. And he's like, no, I don't want my town being used for sympathy. Like, he has this really bad misconception. And this starts a whole argument with her, like, with them. So it's a little enemies to lovers type thing. And over time, he realizes, like, oh, fuck, I got her all fucked up. I was really judgy. I messed up everything. Like, she's actually a really nice person. And she realizes that he's just a stressed out single dad. Well, he's not really a single dad. He's a co-parenting father. And, you know, it's trying his best. And he's just super overwhelmed by everything that's happening. So, and then they fall in love, you know. I love this book. This is my favorite book, probably, of this entire vlog. Um, I love, like, it was deep. Like, I really enjoyed every single character in here. And I read this all on my Kindle. Like, last time I touched this book was Chapter 11. All on my Kindle. So, if you guys, you don't need to buy this. But, one of my favorite books from this vlog. And that's pretty much all I read for these last few days. Um, and, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. <laughs>